Hello guys and welcome back to another video on Space program. This is Design of the Week episode 27 and we are starting off with the UNSC Amberclad. So the Amberclad is from one of the Halo games, I'm not too sure which one exactly, but uh, let me show you how it looks. Pretty cool looking and let's go ahead and launch it. Took me quite a while to make it, yes indeed, although it, yeah, it looks cool in the end. So I'm pleased with it, and it does fly. Of course, it's not rocket powered; it's jet powered, but still, it works. And so, yeah, it is quite quite large indeed. What I have to do is obviously throttle up, throttle up to the max, let that run for a little bit, just so there's enough thrust to lift us up into the air. And okay. Now I upgraded my graphics card, as some of you guys know. I spent all my all my money on it too. It's not the best graphics card. I won't even tell you what graphics card I bought. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. That seems good. And press spacebar. Now hold down S when you do this. Hold down S. And there we go. It's in the air. This beast is actually flying. Woo! And yeah, it looks very cool. Very nice. It is a little bit shaky on the front end, but that is alright. I don't think I even used any struts there. No. The only struts I use for this whole design are right here. These three, these six here. So pretty good. And every now and then you have to point the nose up. Because of that shaking, it pushes the front front end down a little bit. Yeah, very slowly. It's doing it right now. Damn thing. But this is going to take a while, so I'll be right back. Anyway, guys, the top speed of this design is 1,600... 1,700 meters per second. Pretty good. And I didn't mention, but it has nine turbojet engines. And that's it. That is it for this design. It's just very cool looking. Indeed. And where are we heading? Pretty good. Very fast. And once we're at this altitude, it doesn't shake anymore. It's It pretty much stabilizes itself. Yeah. But as you can see. But I'm happy with the way this design turned out. Of course, I will we'll include it in the download link. In the description. And now, we are going ahead and burn this thing up a little bit more then head for the next design. And this is looking very hot. Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> very cool. Yay. <laughs> anyway guys, next design. Alrighty, so this is the Ultra Hawk, just a basic design, but while I'm flying I just want to ask you guys a couple more questions. <laughs> I've been asking a lot of questions lately. Uh, I just want to ask you, uh, would you like me to make a what would I call it? A sun station. So some sort of station that circles around the sun. Or I could do something else. I could make another base on another planet. Or I could do something called planetary skipping, which is something, just a random idea I came up with. Where I'd... Okay, this thing. Well, let me push down. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, planetary skipping, where I make a single design, like the most, the best design you can possibly have, that will essentially go to every, land on every single planet. Okay, this thing's screwed as it is. Yeah, I'm surprised the engines are still running. It's because we haven't fully followed up. But yeah, so I'd like to get every single planet with the planetary skipping, and, and moon as well, so I'd have to land. And once I land, I'd have to get off, and the way I'd refuel it is by just, just simply uh, docking to it with another ship and refueling it like that. Of course, I'm not going to use any cheats, so it's going to be fully legit. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'd like to know one of those choices. Either all of them would be fun for me, I'd enjoy more. Um, but it depends on what you guys like the most. I definitely think the sun base would be cool. Or. I mean, sun station, like a orbital station around the sun. Maybe a base on, 
I don't know, a planet that nobody goes to. <laughs> Eve, maybe? I haven't really seen anyone make a base on Eve. I don't know why. Everyone just goes to the moon because it's closest and easiest to get to. Oh, anyway, I don't care. As long as you guys enjoy it, I'll do it. Because pretty much I'll enjoy anything on this game. So you guys have seen this, this design, what it can do. Now we're heading back down. Back down. And it, it tends to lift up, lift up at this altitude by itself. Oh, here we go. Super hot. Very cool looking design. I like it. I like it. Should we screenshot? Nah. It looks cool anyway. Very hot. Yes, indeed. Anyway, I did upgrade my graphics card. I might as well tell you what I got. I got the GTX 660. Unfortunately, the GTX 760, which is like came brand new on the market, just came out last month. Um, they didn't sell it in Australia for the same price that they sell it in America, which is around two hundred and fifty-five dollars. Whereas in Australia, they sell it for four hundred, which is a complete ripoff. Yes. So it turns out Australia, which is where I live, we're a little bit behind when it comes to to technology. But that is alright. Anyway guys, that is it for this design. We're gonna go ahead and skip to the next one, which is not a jet, it's something else. It's unexpected. Alright, and before we end that, let's smash this thing. Can we smash it? Can we just time warp as fast as possible? That, that Here we go, this looks fine. There we go, done deal. Okay, this design is the one that I'm known for, mostly. Oh, that's something else down there. Spoiler alert, great. Um, I should have taken that off. Anyway, this is the UFO. If you've stayed, if you've been with me for a long time on my channel, then you'd know that I was the one who made the first UFO, the first amazing UFO, actually. No one came up with this idea other than myself. Ho ho. Anyway, you need to be a little bit cautious the way you do it, and you see what this thing does if you don't already know. Essentially, it just spins and slowly throttle up slowly okay because this thing is spinning super fast okay and it looks like it is in the air alright that was a nice stable lift off well it's barely lifting off is it <laughs> anyway retract the smoggy bays and just let this Lift up a little bit more higher for what we are going to do in a moment. You will see. Yes, you will. Throw it up a little bit more. Alright. It'd be really, inter really interesting to see how fast the thing is actually spinning. If you look underneath, it is spinning quite fast. Alright, so what I'm going to do is throttle right down. Actually, I'll just turn off the engines. And then press spacebar. And then throttle back up. And that is pretty much it for the UFO. Shit, the fuel weight fuel ran out. Yay, cheats for the win. <laughs> you didn't see anything. No, you didn't. It's got a nice cool effect. And we'll just throttle up to the point where we no longer lift up. Alright, are we falling down a what? Is that one meter per second down or up? Let's put a mouse there and see. I have no idea. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, it was down. Now, this is going up now. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Alright, so if you look here, as you can see, this is what will make you throw up. Yes, indeed, if you were the Kerbal, of course. This Kerbal won't survive very long, he will get a headache. Paul Mungus, Mungus Kerman, I feel sorry for you. Yeah, it would have been good if he had a sad face right now, but unfortunately he doesn't. So that's pretty much it for the UFO. I do have a second design. I don't remember if I, you know, uh, fixed it up or anything. I'll check it out in a moment. Let's just EVA this guy. There we go. Oh great, he died. And one of the... It automatically transports us to that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, one of the features in the game is that uh, when there's no Kerbal, the... Whatever aircraft you have it actually remains on so yeah and I'm gonna screenshot this voila and voila it looks like a pretty cool screenshot now, I don't know how this is going on forever as long as we have the infinite fuel on well let's see what happens if we turn it off 
Oh, there it is. Okay. We are controlling it remotely. This is remote administration. For the win! Whee! <laughs> That's pretty cool. Look at that from here. Hello! Come back down! One of the engines is still on. Um, because that one actually has fuel to power it, with, whereas the other one, the other ones have ran out. Let's go ahead and get a nice, nice look at it. Pretty cool. And now, oh, 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 we touch down. And once you touch down, that was going to happen. Yeah, when you touch down and you have the parachutes, the parachutes automatically get retracted will cut off because you've landed pretty much that's what it, that's what the game thinks but really we are turning super fast so this is mark 2 it's just a slightly bigger version and I did I fix it up yes I did okay I think that's appropriate yeah yep good very nice Whew. Imagine having like Rocker Max engines instead of these things. Huh. <laughs> Man, that would cause so many problems because of how powerful they are. I mean, how 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 much thrust do they have? Like 1500 thrust per engine if you like fully throttle up. So, <laughs> if you have a whole bunch of them, that's just crazy. Let me turn off infinite fuel. That's in the way. Uh SAS, we don't really need SAS. We don't even have SAS actually. Why did it turn it on before? Who knows? Alright, so the same with this one. Throw it up nice and slowly. Um, I did have a few problems before uh, where when I throttle up too much, right, and when I didn't have any struts, these engines just flew off. And this thing is going off to the side. That shouldn't be doing that. But anyway, how great. Yeah, we won't really be able to rescue this. You know what? Get the smoggy bays out. Fully throttle. Throttle up. Okay. Uh, oh, that looked awesome. It, it looked like as if they all um, extended at different times to send the parachutes. Pretty cool. And there we go. This thing will crash. Because it's on an angle. It will. Eventually. Okay, do we have the cheats on still? No, we turned it off. Alright. So let's just let this waste if it ever will come on you know what let's land it let's land it a safe landing see how this drop is uh... smoggy bays go smoggy bays that's what some people call it alright safe landing safe and there we go awesome and the way to repair everything is to get your turn the brakes on Get your trusty Kerbal out, get him to right click and repair all the parachutes. He can do the dirty work even though he's just standing there looking all good. Ah, I have an idea. If you are a modder or someone that wants to make like mods or something for KSP, I have a mod idea. It's a, I think it's a pretty good one. Uh, it's where I will call it the giant Kerbal mod. So see this Kerbal? Make him uh, 1,000 times his current size. So 1,000 times. That's pretty big. You should do that. Someone do that, please. F the board. The giant Kerbal mod. Awesome, nurse. Hey, wait a second. I didn't think of this. Once you repair the parachutes and you press space by that will automatically... Oh. No, parachutes don't work. Yeah, the parachutes weren't working actually can you deploy? yeah you can manually deploy as you can see there huh alright well anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this episode a bit talkative but still um yeah as I said I have three questions for you guys or well, one question but three choices so uh planetary skipping a sun whatever you call it <laughs> a base maybe on eve or whatever planet you guys want Preferably not a moon because the moons are the easier types of things to get to. Just a planet, maybe. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching and see you next time.